A house as old as this one becomes, in time, a living thing. It starts holding on to things, keeping them alive when they shouldn't be. Two or three times a year, we like to go all out and do a really maxed out show on Fifth Avenue. Our windows are some of the tallest display windows in the world. We've done some partnerships with Hollywood films a few times, but nothing on the scale of this before. This is the biggest thing we've done. Crimson Peak is about this cinematic journey. It's definitely Guillermo's attention to detail. It's very much part and parcel of how Bergdorf Goodman treats their windows. There's an idea of deep layering and also of discovery. This is all just a mural. We're working with five different scenes from the film to tell the story. I love to begin with mock-ups and doing these miniature mock-ups. These are quarter-scale renderings of what the window size is. Uh, the windows at Bergdorf Goodman, uh, while from the street they look enormous, they're actually very small. The windows are 12 foot tall, 8 foot wide, but they're only about 3 and a half to 4 feet deep. We're actually working with mannequins from the Bergdorf Goodman resource, and we're taking those mannequins and we're going to be cutting them apart and repurposing them. But this is great for the elevator. I think this is going to work well for cutting that apart. These so. vintage ones don't do that. I feel like we did it. This is our gate window. All of the props have to go in through very small doors. So the Cushing headstone, we've had to cut apart, and we're going to be putting it back together to get it inside of the window. Here on the ground, you can see the attic mural, and this is the recreation of that mural, where they're going to be doing the projection and the painting of that into the perspective that will work in this particular vignette. You Pieces painted this, condensed. just copied the other one using the, the carpet method. Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> that's great. With four of these five windows, I really wanted to push the perspective so that the viewer feels transported into these spaces. James is making a bracket for the mannequin, and he's going to be retrofitting the mannequin for the elevator. Because we flipped the perspective of going down the elevator shaft, we have to be able to suspend the mannequin off of the back wall. Making windows like this for Bergdorf Goodman, it's a lot of pieces coming together to make something very special. It's like creating fine artwork. So it requires a tremendous amount of skill from carpenters and artisans to make everything come together. Everything, as you can see, is extremely custom, and it requires having people that have very specific skill sets to be able to make all of these things come to life. This is the last night before we set up the windows at Bergdorf Goodman, and all of the major set pieces are done, and tomorrow we begin the load-in. It's gonna be a long day, and then the week begins. just completed loading everything in off of three enormous trucks um, and all of our scenic is in as you can see amongst all of this finery we have our incredible sets. Just like the movie. Just like the movie. So this is the end of the first night of our install. Tonight we made great progress, this team did a great job, and uh, looking forward to getting back at it tomorrow. The only fashion we see in that window needs to be one of these kind of, one of these kind of looks. Window 11, we went tougher and chicer and meaner. We're able, since it's Bergdorf Goodman, to just almost scour the floors and find the perfect looks to put in the windows. Yeah, put, see what happens if you push that back. When you're doing visual display, they always say that you have about three seconds to capture the attention of the person walking down the street. People are in such a hurry and they're always focused on where they're going. It's little details that will stop them and that will cause them to lose themselves in that display. It 
It's 2.30 in the morning and I think this project is officially finished. It's been many months in the planning. We created quite a rumpus getting it in. I hope they're true to the film and I also hope that they create a little artistic delirium of their own. What's great is that these windows, while they definitely have got strong, strong references to Crimson Peak and Guillermo del Toro's aesthetic, they also have a very strong aspect of Bergdorf Goodman to them. They have that wonderful luxury to them.